and it blurs my eyes. I don't want this, but I still want the light. Who has that knowledge now? I don't want this light, but I still want to be bright before you. Only you are seeing me, I am not seeing anybody, everything is dark in front of me. I want every to be, everyone to be lighted. How is it possible? Who has this knowledge? But I want this. This is where the wisdom now is sprouting, is speaking to me. You believe in this wisdom, the knowledge will be sprouting. Unless there is a belief, there is nothing formed for you. Your superior most creation. I have created heart for you. There is a conscience in you. That gives you the intuition, that need, that necessity. You must have this wish in your heart. This is my will and my will be done if you are a believer in that will and wish. This wish is totally surrounded by wisdom. It is broken up and from it the seed sprouts as a visible shoot. This is where you are going to lead your life. You are going to begin your life. The life is going to be given to you. You are going to be grown from this moment onwards. The moment some need of yours is seeded into your heart. So there is a seed in me. I don't want to suffer in this world at all. I don't want to lead a life losing my dignity. I want to lead a life as a model and to others. I am created as an individual. My individuality must be preserved. I will not follow the life of another person. When I wanted to be a doctor, I learned this medicine. Then I knew this is a killer system, not that it has any quality in it to save a dying person. These people are now saying that I have placed a pacemaker that creates, that sets the heart in motion. Then you must be making all the person who are dead come back to life with that pacemaker. While the pacemaker is in position, they die. What sort of trickery? This is nothing but a fraudulent, glittering, wordy duel by the doctors, between the doctors and the patients, and between the gullible people and those who are clever in putting their mind across. They have a faulty mind. When they are speaking that I am curing the patient, I am saving the patient, you are not a creator of a human being. How can you save the patient or cure the patient? Before knowing anything, you must know what is the reason behind your diseases. You were experiencing wellness before. Now you fell ill. Why? What happened? Suppose there is a diabetes. What is the reason for diabetes, if I am asking? What is the question? What is the reason behind the diagnosis? The answer is, I do not know. This is the truth. There are so many, so many reasons behind. I am asking, let there be billions of reasons behind. For me, pick one from that and tell me what is the reason that I am suffering now. Then only you can treat me. Every individual is different. No two diseases are similar. No two faces are similar. Just one round shape in it, the eyes in this fixed place, nose in this fixed place, and ears and mouth. Everything is in fixed place. How many differences? Seven billion differences. And every moment the facial expression changes, the face getting old, and the things are changing. Two eyes, one nose, one mouth, and two ears, how many changes? This is the creation of God. Every moment is changing for the better. My body is depreciating, self-destructible is any form and shape, any material that is before us. Even a hundred years banyan tree, it is in the state of depreciation. It is in the process of decaying. I am dying. And I know my eyes are losing its strength to see. My skin losing its power to sense. My smell power is decreasing. I am getting dull in my ears. With these things, you are gaining a knowledge. Do you think this knowledge is prime? It is, is it, is it, it is in its prime and it is the truth. 
when you are believing in the ears and the eyes and the hearsay is the knowledge and the source itself is dying what it has given you as knowledge will it be surviving forever will it survive you it is impossible for me to understand when i question my heart how these things can help me how the knowledge can help me when the knowledge has ever it has that so much of infinity it has to grow forever how can i believe this knowledge what i am having as knowledge today billions of years later the knowledge is much better now then compared to that billions of years later the knowledge prevailing in that period of time today is a stone age i cannot believe i refuse to believe this is what you will have as an answer when you ask this question to your heart mindfully i am using the word so that willfully you can accept it because the truth in everybody's heart truth never changes believe it or not i am not disputing against my conscience truth and falsehood are not the same the moment i begin to dispute now i am changing ways the godly ways to the human ways it is a waste of time now for me to live any further as long as my conscience is working we are given a lease of life a long life the moment my conscience is shut down i close my heart to the reality and truth then my days are numbered you want to live somebody says you have got cancer and you don't want to live anymore because i believe in the words of the doctors that i have cancer i don't want to live anymore so your numbers are counted now your heart decides whether you live or you will die mind says you must live doctor says you will die based on his very very ignorant knowledge the imbecile knowledge of the doctors they are delinquent people they do not know who they are what they are speaking they are fully believing in the knowledge of ignorance they have in their heart now how well we can appreciate these people if i am a man of mind if i am mindful i am not out of my mind yet to believe him that he is specialist one question is asked now whether your life force is saving your body or your body is saving your life force i have got a life before me that life force is conducting me and the life force is conducting me conducting my whole frame that the visible frame the body or the body is saving the mind saving the life force definitely we will say the life force one single germ small sperm from that i developed into such a human being that life force created all the parts deep within me now i am a human being fully grown human being still the life force is acting upon me until i die now if there is a life force that is creating your body that developed your body you, the whole of yourself the visible self originated from that life force the life force is invisible if there is a disease in the body then it is a disease in the life force what do you want to be how do you want to live a yeah, most beautiful life well agreeable life with this world is what my need is how will you understand